Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Kritzer, and welcome to my class, Advanced Data Analysis. And this is Presentation 1, Part 1. And I would like to start off with you getting the big picture of what this course is about. Many of you come from different fields, and what I've tried to do is put together a course that will show you how you can use data analysis, how you can use uh, st st statistics to uh, enhance your work. Whether you work in sales or you work in a service organization, uh, I'm sure there are some overarching questions that you might have about how to improve your work. And I will teach you how to uh, ask the right questions to come up with the answers that you need and how to share those answers with people. So start thinking about some of the questions that you might have uh, about your work and how to make your work better as we go through this course. What is statistics? It's a process of collecting data, presenting the data, explaining, characterizing the data. And we use this data to uh, make decisions in our daily work. Whether it be, you know, some of us are teachers and whether or not, for example, we're using the right reading program for students or how students are, uh, test scores are responding to our instruction. It, in, in business, uh, we find out what the customers really want and, and what kind of service really resonates with customers. So we use data analysis in many different lines of work to make the right decisions for our companies. Statistics is the science of data. We collect it, classify it, summarize it, organize it, analyze it, interpret it. And we use the numerical information that we get uh, through this quantitative research to make uh, intelligent decisions in our lines of work. And uh, we, there's a whole lot of math involved in statistics, but what I'm trying to do is to make this simple for you and user-friendly for you as we go through the course. So let's not get hung up on some of the uh, difficult math and let's just look at some of the practical uh, implications and uses of statistics. As I have said, you can use statistics in many different lines of work. In economics, we use it for forecasting or for characterizing demographics. Demographics has to do with the characteristics of a population, gender, ethnicity, racial, uh, income levels. Uh, we use it in engineering for construction and what materials we might use. And they have all, whole kinds of, all kinds of tests that are done in, in that line of work using statistics. In business, we use it for deciding you know, about what the consumer wants, for forecasting financial trends. People who are day traders use statistics in order to make money day trading and not lose it. Uh, sports people use statistics a lot. And, and, and you will notice that, uh, for example, baseball. Baseball has a world of statistics that are analyzed and, and when people make decisions as to what pitcher to use, for example, they look at the statistics and how they did with the batters uh, previously. So in many different lines of work, statistics are very useful. Quantitative research is very useful. We use it to solve real world problems. We, we have to figure out what the problem is come up with it, a good question to, to answer. And, and then uh, we use statistics to answer that question. You know, we don't uh, run a company 
uh, based on 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 whim. We use we use the data to run the company. We use the data to make intelligent decisions. This is called statistical analysis. And many of our uh, corporations employ people for that one purpose, is to do data analysis to inform the company. Where do we get data? Data can come from published sources, almanacs, uh, they could come from uh, government documents. We can make an experiment, design an experiment to derive data from the experiment. We could, we could construct a survey, which is one of the things we'll work on in this course, is how to use a survey to get data. Or we can observe. Data uh, collected observationally occurs when we're uh, observing populations observing classrooms, observing uh, primitive tribes in New Guinea. Uh, we, uh, so we, and for example, sometimes our data comes just from uh, observing children behaving in a classroom and how are they behaving and what is causing their behavior. So uh, these are ways that we can collect data. Again, I mentioned that we can collect it from published sources, books, journals, websites, newspapers. We can ex design an experiment. And we can look at the difference between the experimental group and the control group. Uh, as long as we're not divvying out a cure for cancer and denying people uh, that cure on the control group, there's nothing wrong with designing a, a survey when you, for example, compare two reading programs or two advertising programs, or uh, we can compare uh, uh, how different groups, different ethnic groups are perceiving the services that we are giving them governmentally. We can design a survey or we can observe. We can observe people in their natural setting as well. We can use direct measures uh, to uh, gather data. People do this all the time in the hospital when they get blood pressure, take blood pressure or heart rate. We can use behavioral measures in natural settings. We can videotape and analyze a videotape. Or we can uh, do similar things in a laboratory setting, perhaps observe, observing how children play. We can interview people in person or by the phone. We can administer a survey. We can administer a survey in person or online. Or we can use a standardized instrument. There are many standardized surveys and tests that we can use to gather data. Uh, and and uh, for And there are other ways of gathering data. For example, uh, asking people uh, what they think about their competitors, uh, asking uh, people who work for you, uh, getting their perceptions. Um, also, uh, there are other ways of gathering data uh, on, for example, uh, scientists gather data by getting samples and then analyzing samples. Uh, all of that would be considered data. Sometimes we can get data from court records or emails or family histories. Uh, or, for example, turnover in an organization. Uh, that would be called a retrospective data. Uh, many ways of gathering information. And I will be back with you again in the next presentation.